Hi guys, I am Crystal Sky, and today we're at a different viewing angle because my tripod broke. But it's the same camera, so everything should be fine. We're gonna go over my Canson 180 sketchbook. It's a little messy here. I got some stickers on it. We're gonna do a sketchbook tour. So this paper in here, this is a test of everything, and it does show through. This is um. Copics, so it does show through a little bit there. But um, other than that, I mean, the pencil lines look great. Colored pencil. Um, these are, if I'm not mistaken, these are um, Crayola markers. I bought Crayola markers just for this sketchbook so that they would fit in here nicely. And I really liked this sketchbook. Uh, this is Naname and a shadowy figure. We're designed for it. Trying to figure out what a shadowy figure would look like. <laughs> uh, this is if you haven't seen this comment, it's on my this comic. It's on my Twitter. Um, got a creepy girl in an office. Uh, Mass hero Naname. Pretty cool piece I did. Uh, this is designs for my happiness. This is a shirt, which still isn't out yet. Some shading practice. That's the start of the shading. More happiness is practice. Design, design, and um, that's Masked Hero Ryu. Ryu is you know, his brother. Uh, we've got some sketches and some testing and stuff. Uh, this is an idea for a comic. That's pretty cool. I explained this in my Learn to Draw Weekly. So check that. This is the design for um, the character. I'm not sure if he has a name. I don't remember. I didn't write it down if he does. Um, Naname, I really, really love the way that one turned out. Uh, some more character design, some more shadowy and extension motion. Uh, this is my character from Final Fantasy XIV online. I drew her a couple times as a samurai. Uh, my first attempt at a dragon, not so good. Some more poses and then a Kirby. <laughs> Have to draw a Kirby. I'm not sure what this is from. But I'm starting to shade with this woodless colored pencil that I love so much. Um, so Naname Expressions, a house, a house with a silo for some reason, some more character stuff. Uh, I tried to do a style from memory video, so I didn't actually like the way it turned out, so it didn't uh, release, but this is what that's from. The style did not, I did not memorize the style very well, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, fireplace, a birdcage. So more of that character, Smize. Still trying to figure out my style here. More character designs, some dresses from a fashion book that I bought. I did a lot of those. A lot of fashion. Uh, kimonos are my favorite. Nanami's design is based on a short kimono. Uh, some more stuff. Uh, this is some character designer. Her name is Ava. Um, this is some um, Sammy Brainstorm. Sammy is in Naname's Gift. So that's some character design for him. Some Naname. She's my favorite girl to draw. My OC. Uh, we've got that. It's pretty, I think. I do a lot of character design. It's kind of my favorite thing. And then I had a whole bunch of gesture drawings. These are all gesture drawings that I did in under 10 minutes. I think these were all 10 minute ones. And I still don't know how to draw butts. In my opinion, no, my butts are awful. <laughs> that one turned out all right. Bad butt again. Um, and then this is the designing for my avatar. Um, some Christmas stuff. This is a thing from Doodle Date. More of my character, and I finally found one that I liked all the way down here in the corner. Her. And then I did it on multiple colors with multiple different lips and multiple different expressions. And then I did a storyboard for my animation for the introduction to my channel. I do a lot more storyboards in different places too for that. Because I still haven't found one. If you guys notice, there's no introduction to this video. It takes me months to do these things. Um, more gesture drawing. Um, just some poses and a witch. I don't know where I got the inspiration for that, but I got it somewhere. 
apparently was on this page for a while. Girl with really long hair. Girl looking out a window. This is a design for my office in the future, hopefully. That's how I would like to set up my office. Because my Wacom right now is over back here and it's really hard to work on. So I want to move it towards me so I can actually use both the monitors together. So I want to attach an arm here. So this was just a design for that. I like seeing things in pictures. <laughs> um, this is designed for an art room. Thoughts. <laughs> this is Derpy Guy. <laughs> Derpy Guy. Um, this is Ed from Fullman Alchemist. More gesture drawing. Gesture drawing. Some of these are five minutes, some of these are ten. I don't mark. Um, and then I wanted to do more designs for my avatar, see maybe how short she'll be, what kind of outfit she's wearing, some expressions. And then I did a comic with my avatar to get more familiar with her. Uh, 9 a.m. Sun's rising. Nope. 12 noon. Still sleeping. Uh, what time is it? What year is it? How did I sleep all day? Well, that's because you went back to sleep, silly. <laughs> Uh, so the stages of Inktober. I do a lot of comics in this book. I think it's really indicative to that. But uh, stages of Inktober. Yay, Inktober! This time I will do super elaborate pieces every day. Day five. Ugh, I can't go on anymore. <laughs> um, this is a character design based on my grandma. Um, it has a whole story that I want to put her in. And uh, yeah, it's about an elderly couple sell their home and after retirement they move into a motor home and every day they go on adventures uh, this is also another character he's my little grim reaper guy who still doesn't have a name this is his first comic the lady's scared of him but all he wants to do is trick or treat and then he's sad I love him because even though he has like no features he's so ex expressive <laughs> so I did the washi tape challenge and it turned out terrible so I didn't even post that video. Um, more sketches of Naname, what she would look with long hair. I really like the way she would look like with long hair. I was slow, like kind of throwing the idea around for a little bit and then I decided against it because she's just so iconic to me at this point. Uh, this is Kino from Kino's Journey. <laughs> um, some houses, maybe some porches. My little groom guy again, some elves. A uh, cool design for a tree pendant, and an eye, I draw lots of eyes. Another uh, Grim Reaper mini comic. He's not really, he's a ghost trick-or-treating as a Grim Reaper. That's what he, that's what he is. <laughs> I call him the little Grim Reaper, but he's not really a Grim Reaper. He's a kitty, scared of him, and he gets really sad, and the kitty goes, oh, I'm sorry, and then lets him pat him on the head. Super cute. I have some designs for a cool motorhome. I want to do it for the grandparent um, series. I don't have a name for it yet. It just has two grandparents as the characters. But um, I want to do this really, really awesome motorhome. And I like love campers and stuff like that. And I want to do this design where you just walk in and it's like this crazy place, even though it's so small. Um, these are character designs, and you'll see Indigo more in a little bit. Her name is Indigo. She's a little um, orphan girl. More designs for the inside of Camper, Naname. This is when I got my favorite Castell color pencils. They are my favorite color pencils. I used to hate color pencils. I have a huge pack of Prismacolors, and I hate them because every two strokes, I need to freaking sharpen them, and I hate it. But I got the uh, favorite Castell ones, and I love them so much. More Indigo some swatches. These are with the Arteza pens and then the Faber-Castell pens. Some Arteza watercolor with some indigo. My little Grim Reaper ghost. Same boo. Um, these are some Naga. People before BlizzCon were flipping around the idea of Naga being a playable character, so I was thinking about what they would look like, maybe trim back some of the fins. I was just throwing around some ideas and I kind of ended up with that. <laughs> Uh, my avatar with some Arteza. This is light watercolor and the paper takes fine as you can see. Uh, some more character design. A new idea for a logo. Some scene design. Naname again doing a pose. Uh, more character design. This time I'm going more crazy with head shapes and face shapes and then there's Indigo again. I got some hats. I got some new hair. You know different char crazy character designs and then just me. Um, this is a storyboard for Naname's gift. 
the first, the very first chapter, when I wrote it as a book, she was introduced to um, a public school for the first time. She'd never actually gone to school. She was homeschooled. So that's where the story starts with her. That's not a spoiler. That's like page two. <laughs> um, this is a cool uh, story that I had an idea for where um, a girl fell into another world years ago and she promised herself she'd never go back and she ends up getting pulled into that world again. And there's a whole story behind this in my head and I just never got it down on paper, but this was like the beginning part of it. Um, and then this is a story about a vampire. See, my brain makes stories. Literally, I pump out the stories like crazy. So that's literally what this is. One day, I think maybe this is like probably early in the morning, I woke up and I said, that's a really cool idea. So I did two pages of that. And then I stopped to maybe go eat lunch or something. And I come back and I'm like, oh, let's let's do a story about a vampire. <laughs> These are logos for the Christmas design. I'm going to change my logo soon on Twitter. So this is a story comic about a vampire girl um, coping with herself. And then more character designs for that vampire girl. This is a little logo from Heartbound. Love that game. More Christmas designs. Um, I tried to draw, like, Pokemon Trainer. Me. <laughs> Uh, but it went through. It actually went through over here, too. This is Ohuhu markers, which are alcohol-based. Um, some Naname poses. Uh, this is for another story that I came up with about espers. There are espers in it. And this is... I can't remember her name. Her name is Starlight. That's it. Yeah, Starlight. And, uh, yeah, I did a whole bunch of character designs. Little baby Starlight. Cute, super cute. And then adult Starlight. She's an Esper. And um, then more Starlight and then Reaching for the Stars. <laughs> That's where my brain went with that. These are some Animal Crossing fan art. This is how my Animal Crossing girl looks, actually, in the game. I changed it recently, but that's how she used to look. It's more Animal Crossing stuff. Um, this is the girl from Battle Chef Brigade on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, then more Animal Crossing. Some poses, some hands, some fish, a face, a Santa. These are cool building designs from an architecture book that I bought. I did a whole bunch of them. I love drawing buildings and I'm awful at it, so all I want to do is draw architecture and get good at it. <laughs> um, some more. I love this pencil that I got. It's a Michael's brand woodless pencil, and I love it. Shading is so much easier, and it's just a really nice pencil. So I drew a lot of things with it. She's kind of cool. Some uh, shapely circle girls. Hiname. Ryu. Crying faces. I guess I was not in the mood. This is a comic about me with dirty jokes and how they fly over my head until someone hits me with them. <laughs> Um, there's a dog, there's a guy, a soda can, always gotta dr draw some still life in there, more Naname, um, Ryu, um, as a kid, as a kid, as a adult Naname, um, and then baby Ryu with a little kitty, uh, he's, well, he's kind of adultish, uh, rainbow hair, I'm obsessed with this idea of rainbow hair, so I draw a lot of it, and then that's it, that's my... Canson 180 sketchbook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. I have another sketchbook tour coming up. It's this one. I have only this many pages left and it's all watercolors. So if you guys love my colored pictures, uh, wait, you are probably very excited for this because they're all in color. It's all watercolors. And then I have this sketchbook, which is coming soon. I only have a couple pages left. Well, it's more than I would like, but it's about this much. And these are all uh, marker paper, so I used markers in this. Uh, it's also where my Inktober is, so if you guys want to check that out, that's coming soon. When I'm done with the sketchbooks, I'm almost done. I will see you guys later, and the next video that comes up on this sketchbook is going to be a review.